What's up guys, Daniel McKenna here. Today, Clay Clark will be sitting down with the highly intelligent and successful David Nielsen. He'll be talking with us about the 15 most common mistakes entrepreneurs make when writing a business plan. If you do not already know who David Nielsen is, David Nielsen is the co-founder and CEO of Guidant Financial. Since starting the company with just two people who shared a laptop, the company has now helped to fund over 10,000 small business owners. Guidant Financial has helped to connect small business owners to over $4 billion of capital that has been used to create over 60,000 jobs throughout the United States. In this lesson, David Nielsen is going to bring some knowledge about the most common mistakes entrepreneurs make when they are putting together their business plan. So you can actively avoid these or fix any problems you might have currently. Make sure you pay attention in this lesson, take notes, turn those notes into action items so you can apply what you're learning here to your life or your business. Time for the lesson. Let's go. David, I appreciate you for letting me visit you out here in, in beautiful Seattle. Uh, this was a great, uh, uh, a great trip. There's a lot of water, mountains. Uh, it's beautiful, my friend. Yeah, Seattle's an awesome place. Are you? How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here since 1982. Really? Yeah, long time. And since '82, just to give a little context, you've helped over. Uh, when did you start Guidant Financial? What year did you we start? started in 2003? So since 2003, you guys have have helped over 10,000 businesses uh, gain access to over four billion dollars of capital. Yeah. Up creating, I think we said 60,000. Jobs? Yep, 60,000 domestic jobs. Domestic jobs, that's huge. That's uh, U.S. jobs, unbelievable. So yeah. I, I, I'm excited to talk with you. I honestly am pumped up about this because as a business consultant, you know, it's kind of weird, but like I started off as a DJ, which is kind of like a carnival guy. You know, mm -hmm. so you're working at the carnival. Nothing wrong with that if you're working at the carnival. We all start somewhere. And then you kind of evolve and people say, you know, hey, could you, could you help me with my business? And then I get to become a consultant, you know, that kind of thing. And, but there's still that inner DJ in me. Yeah. There's still that bad business plan just waiting to be pitched. And so I, 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 see, I, I relate to people that have bad business plans, but I also want to help them. Yeah. And I know that you see these all the time, so we're going to get into it. But before I do, I have one question I want to ask you. Okay. I know your name is spelled differently. I know it's David Nilsson. But are you at all semi-related to the, the, the TV movie star Leslie Nielsen? <laughs> <laughs> no. Even though no. it's spelled so and Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why I ask is because I feel like these are the kinds of things that happen on business plans where that just it, it doesn't even make sense sometimes. So it, we're going to get into it. So here we go. Not a good start, by the way, if you're spelling your own name wrong. Yeah, well, there. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So um, business plan. Uh, this is a definition from our good friends at Investopedia, a written document that describes in detail how a new business is going to achieve its goals. A uh, business plan will lay out a written plan from a marketing, financial, and operational viewpoint. Um, my friend, when you're talking about a business plan, uh, without getting into all of the specific details, bottom line in your mind, what should it include? Uh, so, clearly stated goal. What are we trying to accomplish? Uh, a clearly defined strategy, uh, strong market analysis, um, uh, demonstrating that the team that is coming, uh, that is building this business is the right team to build this business. Mm -hmm. uh, a strong financial plan. Okay. And uh, good marketing strategy. Okay. Competitive now, analysis is probably something I'd also add there. And again, I mean, when you see a business plan, I mean, you're, you, we're going to go over the common mistakes that you see all the time. I've seen it as a business consultant, but not nearly like you have. So I'm going to go ahead and deep dive into these and, and uh, Common mistake number one, the grammatical disaster. Somebody took a, a sabbatical from grammatical. They just started spelling everything wrong and just, do you see this a lot? Uh, you do, and, and what it actually tells us is their attention to detail. I mean, if, if they're missing the simple things, um, you know, you wonder how prepared they are, how deliberate they are about their plan, whether this was thrown together at the last minute or whether they're taking it seriously. So if you see somebody who has a ton of stuff spelled wrong, you're going to be like, well, their attention to detail here is a little bit off. And maybe when it comes to paying us back, they might be off. Or maybe when it comes to providing the service they promised, they might be a little off. Or I, mean, I, think it's, sort of I think it more talks to, are they going to shortcut the process and does it increase my risk? Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, the tools that are out there, whether you use Google Docs or Microsoft Office, 
they tell you when you spell things wrong. They highlight the sentences that don't seem that they're structured with correct gramma gr grammar. So I, you know, it's hard for me to imagine somebody who would come into uh, a, a presentation ready to talk about the business and why they're an entrepreneur that we should be taking seriously if they're not utilizing the very simple tools that are available to them. How long should a business plan be? What's the maximum where you're going, hey, stop making, I mean, because you know, you want to spell check it, you want to get it right, um, but I think some people have these massive documents where it's, it's huge, it's a huge undertaking. Some people have small ones. How, how long should a business plan be in terms of I, numbers of pages? Or? Yeah, length is a difficult one. I've seen some really great business plans that are under 10 pages. I've seen some that are uh, over 50. Okay. Um, I think it's all over the board. I think what really needs to be demonstrated, though, is that they have clearly thought through all of the major components and have a strong and compelling um, reason for why they're taking the approach they are.